Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin, Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials today. A bit of a slowdown just to recap on some stuff we have been doing. Okay, because some people have difficulty in sorting it out. So there's the problem d2x dt squared minus 3 dt dx plus 2x equals cos 3t. And there's the initial values. Now, the problem that or people don't see. We have to break this, this second order down into two first orders. So we let x1 equal x1. So anywhere we have x, we bang in x1. And anywhere we have x dash, like here, we put in x2. And then you're saying to yourself, oh, but Anselm, what about the x double dash? Well, that's simple because if we just take the derivatives of these two, and I've put them in here, so the derivative of x2 is the double derivative of x1 and the derivative of x1 is well, I'm sorry, repeat myself is just the derivative of x so if I slow down here all I did here was I left the d2x dt squared on the left hand side and brought everything over to the right hand side so bring that across we get a uh, the minus two, the plus two x over here becomes minus two x here, and minus three dt dx becomes plus three dt dx and the cos three t there. Now going from here to here, we substitute. So for x double dash, x double dash, we put in um, uh, x two dash, and sorry, slight. So for that. We put in that. For x, we put in x1. For 3x dash 3 dt dx, we put in 3x2, because that's there, and the cos 3t remains the same. So we've created um, two first order from one second order, and I've written it in matrix format. So in other words, this row by this column is 0. So 0x1 zero plus 1x2 gives me that. And here, minus 2x1 minus 2x1 plus 3x2 plus cos 3t gives me x2. OK. Go out to MATLAB. So I clear the screen, I clear the workspace, I close all variables, I create a time span from 0 to 5 in steps of 0.01. <coughs> my initial value of x is 0, my initial value of dx dt is 3. So the left hand side is what we dig out, ODE45, the function which we'll look at in a second, the time span, the initial x value and the initial dx dt value. There is my function, RHS2, just go back there a second, RHS2. T and x are coming in. So, using the notation I did before in the PowerPoint, dx dt1, so in other words, the first derivative of x is x2, and dx dt2, just go back there. That's the x dt one. That's the x dt two. Minus two x one plus three x two equals cos three t. And I've written it there. Hopefully, that's clear enough. Then I get one array out, and it has um, two rows. I think the previous time I wrote it was two columns. Okay, go back to here. This is very simple, there's no comments, I suppose I wouldn't get 100%, but look, it it will do for the moment, and I think I've explained it, so let's run it. Okay, so, hope that clears things up a little bit better. Thanks very much, bye.